It's just to be the, those guys who break the boundaries that we always thought it's impossible to break. We're a non-for-profit startup sports team started by a few crazy people who thought they can make it to the Tour de France. I brought Mauro Vigny, the director of the Giro. He laughed. I don't think he thought I was serious. Every year we have been stepping, uh, stepping up the game a little bit. I think the growing process of this team is, is insane. <laughs> the deal was signed on the last day before we had to put in the submission. Look at this now, we were one of the biggest teams in the world. This team uh, going to the highest level in the world, it, it gives the young generation the possibility to dream big. I feel very good. <laughs>《The story of how Israel's startup nation made it to cycling's elite club began here, and in the mind of one man back in 2015.》So it was July, the TV was open, I saw the Tour de France, and, and I decided I want to be there. Obviously there was no Israeli rider who ever raced the Tour de France. I realized quickly that I was simply not good enough. I liked the talent, and at the same time uh, I just didn't go through the same path that riders in my age, would have go through in other countries. The Israeli sport always missed the leap into the professional cycling. So no one ever really got there. No one really got the chance. No one really got the support that we have now in Cycling Academy. So I've got to, to go to Rand, sometimes our manager, and just say to him, Thank you, thank you for doing that, because without you, I wouldn't have this, this opportunity. We're a non-for-profit startup sports team, started by a few crazy people who thought they can, they can make it to the Tour de France uh, with people coming from countries like us. And I believe this sport has the opportunity to, to create a better society. I don't want to sound like a crazy, crazy person who tried to, to achieve world peace through that. But in my, in my own way, I feel that getting more people on the bike and getting more people on the bike in this country will help us change the, the reality that we see sometimes through the TV. One of the other ways to inspire them is, is just to be the, those guys who break the boundaries that we always thought it's impossible to break. Here I am at Pro Continental Ranks. Why shouldn't I go to Walter? I had started this project to build the velodrome here, so I guess some some people associated with the team um, uh, reached out to me. Uh, and asked me if I'd like, the next time I come to Israel, would I like to go for a, for a bike ride? So I did, and we started talking about the team, and um, they asked me to be on their board of directors. It was a continental team at the time. After some time, um, I decided to make an investment in the team, and I was also uh, simultaneously in my early discussions with the Giro d'Italia about bringing the big start to Israel. Well, that was actually beyond my dreams because I was ringing me uh, to do a Grand Tour, but I would never imagine that my first Grand Tour will be starting in my home country. We were absolutely amazed and uh, shocked to, to see so many spectators coming out and uh, enjoying a wonderful sport event. I had an opportunity to meet Mauro Vigny, the director of the Giro, and uh, I suggested to him the idea of, of uh, doing the big start here in, here in uh, Israel. And we welcome Mauro Vigny, the director He laughed. I don't think he thought I was serious. The Giro had never left Europe in its hundred years. He saw what everyone else sees when they come here. I uh, was surprised, impressed. 
For me, it was experience of a lifetime. It's really uh, to start my first uh, Grand Tour in my home country was, yeah, was uh, unbelievable. And uh, I was so excited and I was so happy. You would have thought you were in Belgium or, or Holland or something. It was absolutely amazing. The best big start in, in the Giro's 101 year history right here in Israel. I've been uh, actually a few teams that have started off. First I was in uh, Liquigas that restarted in 2005. Then I was in Sky that started in 2010. And then I was in IM Cycling that started in 2013. I really try to think about all the different uh, good things that were done in, in each of these teams uh, and try to fit that into our team. I was determined uh, having been in the Pro Conti ranks, to move up uh, and to be able to, to secure sponsorship uh, in a more serious way and be, to, be, to be taken more credibly. It has been a little bit of an uh, ongoing uh, discussion with, uh, with teams about the, the possibility of, of uh, collaboration with somebody. And I probably met eight, nine, ten of the World Tour teams and talked to them about, you know, the possibility of uh, merging our enterprises. That was going on and off. So uh, there were highs and lows during the, the season where we were thinking one direction and then suddenly in another direction. Eventually, it, it, it worked with Katusha. The deal was signed on the last day before we had to put in a submission to the UCI for their license renewal. Literally the last day. Now they've reached World Tour level, Israel's startup nation haven't quite finished setting new aims and ambitions. Every year we have been stepping up the game a little bit. Um, and the same thing we have asked from all the riders to do the same thing, and especially the Israelis. I have to say I've been in this team from the first year, although not from the day, day one, but uh, from the first year. The growing process of this team is is insane. Uh, we're just uh, stepping it up uh, slowly, slowly, and then it's, the big boom is coming again. So we are throwing in the, they throw us in the deepest water, and they expect us to swim. We have guys that are capable of doing a grand tour, like uh, like first uh, Guy Sagiv in uh, in 2018 Giro, and then 2019 Guy Neve, and uh, yeah, now hopefully we are able to have Israelis also doing the same thing in the, in, the, in the tour. We will have an Israeli rider ride in the Tour de France, which will be for us, a, for us as a nation historic. At the highest level, we are providing an opportunity for, for the best Israeli riders to reach the highest level of the sport and race in the biggest races. This team uh, going to the highest level in the world, it, it gives the young generation the possibility to dream big. It gives them the possibility to know that if they will work hard, if they will be determined enough, they will be able to get the opportunity to make it to the highest level. And I think it's, we're going to see much more uh, Israeli young riders trying to achieve it. <laughs> I think that now when we have the Conti team and the World team, it's the best combination to develop young Israelis. I feel very good! Rudy <laughs> Van
Carreira.